Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are in a game you have not seen from me before and I thought I do a little bit of Inception. Game developer plays game dev tycoon uh, or a tycoon developer plays game dev tycoon. That's even better. So uh, yes, um, I first thought like mm, Something managery because we just got rid of motorsport manager from my uh, from my list sadly because it crashed all the time and I tried to uh, To get rid of the crashes verifying files and shit, but no that didn't help Maybe it is because my save game is is weird in the new version or something, but yeah, uh, I tried to bring up a new episode and it just fucked up majorly. But anyway, let's get into this um, new thing. And that is the following. I'm going to play it for you, Game Dev Tycoon, and uh, I hope you will enjoy that little journey. I'm quite familiar with the game, so I will be knowing what I'm doing mostly. Mostly. Of course, you always can fuck up because uh, the game is not... A good game. Well, it has a fantastic theme. It is very poorly executed in some of its mechanics. And uh, that brings me to what I'm going to do with this. Uh, I'm going to go and compare it to the newer ish um, Mad Games Tycoon after a full playthrough of this. So, yep, that's your future YouTube co content from Killrob line outline for you. Um, of course, I'll keep my Diablo 2 stuff and uh, do automation stuff whenever it comes up. But, yep, this should be fun. This should be a lot of fun. I really like the game, although it has so many flaws. And I think we're just getting into it, straight into it, and hope to not go bankrupt straight away. I hope for good topics at the start. Yes, uh, company name. Company name. Hey, what the fuck? Why is there no, uh, no bald head? This is bald headophobia, clearly on display here. Um, yeah, too much thinking, kind of fries your hair away. So, um, Mortal Realms Entertainment. Um, let's put the end. Yes, Mortal Realms Entertainment. That is the first uh, studio name uh, my best friend and I uh, came up with back in the days in school times when I was in high school. That was Mortal Realms Entertainment because that sounds awesome. And uh, the player name is of course Killerob. And what is this? Only two genders? Why not 80? I mean, that's that's completely feasible to put on the screen. Um, of course, I'm... 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 Joking, because that is fucking stupid. Anyway, uh, let's continue on. Unlock hints. And no, we are not going to unlock hints, um, because we are treating this as I, you can see. I've I've played quite a lot, uh, so this was just my current playthrough or whatever, so that I could see if the game is actually working and recording, and it is. As I'm speaking to you right now, and we shall overwrite this. And oh, stop! And here we have the first bullshit thing in the game. The game doesn't auto pause when you're not doing anything. That is a really stupid design decision from the developer. But anyway, uh, and frustrating because you're sometimes mi missing crucial deadlines because of that. Anyway, I will be mainly paused all the time as soon as I can get there. As soon as you click somewhere, uh, you get up the menu and then the game is paused. That's a weird decision. Anyway, let's develop a new game and I hope we have good topics. Uh, military. Okay, military is pretty cool. City. Yeah, okay, fits to military. Time travel doesn't... Yeah, is more narrative focused and martial arts is more like action stuff. But the main thing here is that our character at the start is a 300, 300, 300, 300 for design, programming, speed and research. And that means that we are mainly going to produce good in-between titles, like military action would work, that is slightly more technology focused. Uh, and city simulation, maybe that would work. Strategy, maybe that's an option. And military strategy would be an option. 
Yeah, let's. I think yeah, simulation is very much technology focused, though. So that might be uh, not a good choice to do right now, as we have so balanced stats. Uh, let's go with military, pick a genre, and yeah, let, let's go for action. I mean, that's that's perfect. And uh, we call it we call it Mega Bullets because Mega Bullets is. Uh, is a really fucking stupid name. All right, uh, and oh, the 2D graphics are real. <laughs> They're amazing. Without an engine, let's get started on Mega Bullets. All right, so here we come to the main problem of the game, basically. Um, very little feedback and no idea what what that even means. Well, engine, obviously, right? Obviously, as a game developer, I know that the engine which we don't even have, we don't have an engine, um, is vitally important to developing uh, an F F FPS in 2D. <laughs> It's really strange. Also, gameplay, super important for any kind of action game, right? Um, yeah, but the engine is, is just as important. And then story and quests, fuck story and quests. This is an action game. We need pixel blood uh, in, uh, like, monochromatic or something. Ah, uh, 4-4, four, four. not too bad. But now, dialogues. Well, no, no dialogues. I don't want dialogues in my game. Artificial intelligence. Um, not quite sure. Maybe they should be about equal. Uh, maybe, no, less. They, usually artificial intelligence is so fucking stupid that we don't really care. Anyway, level design, yes. Uh, Mega Bullets has really good level design. It's almost like Duke Nukem, uh, just 15 years earlier. Oh, why are you so producing so many bugs? That's almost like in real life, Killer Rob. Stop it. Yeah, I think for an action title, something like this would be good. Like all the graphics, world design, I don't really care. And uh, sound, yes. Yes, you need to hear all the bleeps and bloops from the tower speakers. Because that was awesome. No, stop with the bugs. That could have been... That could have been stats all along. Oh, oh, good, good, good. The balance between those is super important. So, let's see. Come on, one more, one more tech. Yes, perfect. Okay, that's a good balance. That's a good balance for a uh, an action title. And speed this up. Ah, so slow. Um, good, good experience. Yes. So, oh, stop, 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 stop. Before anything goes on, we have to develop the next game. Because uh, that's how it works, right? You just spit them out like... Uh, who spits them out? Like... Uh, what was their name? Oh, yes! Digital Homicide! <laughs> We are totally Digital Homicide here. Uh, now, no, Mortal Realms Entertainment doesn't doesn't do shit. Shit indie titles. Um, anyway, uh, we need a new topic. Um, how about a city... Strategy game. Uh, SimCity? Anyone? Sprawltopia? Oh, if I've ever come up with a name, then uh, this is probably the the worst to read. Like, guys, don't call your games this kind of shit because they will. No one will ever know how to look for them. But um, they will be unique. It's not like zombie survival game. Uh, 15 but uh, yeah Let, let's continue on we make it 2d graphics once again and uh, we produce the bug perfect uh mega bullets let's see mega bullets uh, beautiful uh pretty shit yeah 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 okay it's it's tosh yes there's seven. Oh yes they saved us that should make a little bit of profit Uh, strategy game. Engine? Uh, gameplay story? Yes, I guess. Gameplay? Yeah, it's probably the same as for action games. Favorable reviews? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty decent. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, we're making all the dough. Uh, 12 fans? That's almost like in real life. Okay, here it needs to be different though. I think level design is less important here and artificial intelligence is more important. Let's put it that way around. 
And by the way, just to mention it, I'm playing this vanilla to show you all the, 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 yeah, bad design decisions by the developer. Who should have known better making a game like this. Um, 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 yeah, okay, city, strategy, development stage three. Um, graphics? Nah, not in a strategy title, right? We don't really care about that. Graphics, uh, no idea. So world design, I guess, is important? Uh, not really. Is world design important? What do they even mean with world design when it comes to a strategy city game? Uh, I, I, I guess it's important, like that your city looks good and stuff. Design can be like anything. And uh, that is one of the main problems with this game as a whole. You don't know what they mean, what they want it to mean. There are no tooltips, no information, nothing. Yay, sales record. Mortal Realms Entertainment is getting up there. Um, that is terrible. That's a terrible balance. We need it, like, this in technology and this in, in design. But it doesn't matter too much at the start, I think. Later for bigger games, the, the balance really matters and crushes your, your balls if you're not careful enough. And then we need to develop the next game. Uh, develop new game. What do we have? What should we do? Um, 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 um. Yeah, let's do a martial arts action game for the PC. Yay. And we call it Deep Fist because uh, that is totally, totally 80s. Uh, and and very much very much bad okay great title oh yeah sprawl topia the game no one can spell and oh no it's looking really bad ah uh, come on faster reviews faster reviews come on show it to me yeah, yeah. that will be basically as bad as mega bullets uh what do we do here engine important gameplay important story quest now nah, fuck you um, so, yep, let's, let's do something like this this time around. Okay, let's see. I hope to get the balance better this time. It's really a crapshoot at the, at the start because you never know which bubbles turn into bugs instead. Uh, just if you have so few bubbles in total, like eight and nine or something, then um, that makes a big, big difference if you have many bugs. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Yes, okay, better balance. No, 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 stop it, stop it. And almost to level up in the relevant stuff. Ah, damn it. Release the game, all right. So now, let's uh, make some game reports so that we get research points. And, oh, oh, Deep Fist, they like the title. Yeah, all right, that wasn't too bad, average seven. That should give us uh, a decent amount of money. Um, okay, so these reports and stuff, they, they help. But where is that knowledge? Like, where does it show up? I remember, I, maybe it was a mod where I had like the pluses showing. Maybe this is in vanilla. So if that is the case, then it is actually showing up. But it's still super vague and you can't really uh, elaborate on that. And also, like, the, we, we are getting to that soon if uh, once we are researching new topics. That is a... Whoa, let's see, martial arts, action, great combination, we know that, yeah, not important, and genre match platform is good, mm, yeah, decent. And yeah, we are getting to that when researching new topics, and that system is really flawed, because you're so limited at the start, and it really only works for genres that the developer of this game thought would be appropriate. And that were only games that actually in, uh, existed in real life. So you can't do your own thing. You are confined to developing combinations which um, 
exist in real life and were successful in real life. All right, military and action, great combination. We knew that, and artificial intelligence seems to be very important. Yes, yes, I agree. Okay, so what more do we have? Research. We do want to research our custom engine. All right, recent rumors, blah, blah, blah. We don't really care. I'm a PC developer, after all. So uh, let's get that out of the way and research more. A new topic. Let's see what kind of topics we have here. Uh, evolution? Hospital? Uh, yeah, okay. So from what we have here so far, it seems that we are going with, like, strategy games? Strategy simulation stuff? I'm not really fussed about making, uh, getting, getting a new topic right now. They, they are, not, uh, evolution might be interesting for like strategy or simulation, but um, maybe I'm starting to develop a new engine instead. So let's get that one going. Oh yes, new graphics, linear story because we really need that. Um, that one is important for. All kinds of narrat more narrative-driven games, so not the uh, um, not your average uh, strategy or action game, but rather something a little bit more uh, resourceful. Um, let's see. So this is the real engine one. You even get a V. Are you happy now? Okay. Yes, you are. And there we're done. All right. Now the uh, Real starts again. We do want to develop a new game. Let's pick a topic. Uh, but maybe something more, a little bit more narrative focused. So time travel, uh, adventure, because we have so much design skill and now we have dialogues and shit. So uh, let's call it Time Pocalypse. And this will be on the PC and uh, Real Engine. Yes, the real engine. Oh, awesome graphics that cost us 30,000 something dollars uh, to develop. That's also kind of bullshit. Why, why does it cost you that much if you're just sitting there and drawing that shit? Uh, probably in paint, in paint of the 80s. Oh, brilliant. Produced a lure error right from the start. Uh, linear story, engine, we don't care about engine. Uh, story, yes, game, gameplay? No. Nah, who needs gameplay? It's an adventure game! So far, the balance is about right. Now we need all the dialogues and level design is kind of trash and then artificial intelligence doesn't really exist. Let's put a, no, halfway, yeah. Halfway, artificial intelligence da down in the drain. We are making a dear Esther of the 80s. Come on. We need only design. All the pretty landscapes. Why are you producing so many lure errors? Uh, world design, yes. Graphics. Yeah, kind of important. Sounds, not so much. And I don't even think these sliders matter. And the game never tells you that they actually matter. Um, I think it's more like the time you spend on these on average which then produces the appropriate bubbles according to the split in what they involve. So for instance, if you're working on graphics, there's part an artistic thing, design thing, and part a technology thing. And this is a very nice balance for a game such, such as this. Maybe this will work out. And all the level ups are oh, brilliant. This will be amazing. So now we can, oh, we can research more. Or we can just develop a new game. Uh, I think this time around I'm going to make another uh, uh, city game. And maybe we try our ah, simulation. No, we're too good at design. Um, RPG doesn't really fit, so it must be a strategy game. The PC, because that's the only market that really matters for this. And of course, this is Sprawltopia too, and uh, we start development straight away. And we are... Wow. <laughs> we are kind of bankrupt already. Uh, engine, yes, yeah, super important. Super important. Story quests, we don't care about quests. Time apocalypse. Come on, I need the. Oh, yes, yes, yes. 999. Nine. Oh, this is brilliant. Eight. Ah. 
No, eight, and another eight, no, seven. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, that wasn't good. Uh, that will make us some money, so that we... What, what are you doing? Seven bugs in the first... What? Uh... And more bugs. This game it will be shit. Rumors, yes, yes, yes. I will get the hype for our shit game. And now he's scratching his head for four weeks. Go on, go, 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 go. Yes, yes, time, blah, blah. Yes, hype. Oh, hype three. Amazing. Uh, world design. What do they mean with world design? I have no idea. So, because I have no idea what they even want here, I, I shall make it something like this. Um, maybe that works out. Stop producing bugs. No! <laughs> Ten bugs! This is more bugs than game! And nothing! You have nothing! Kill Rob! Start produce. Come, come on, not. Uh, there we go, 14 14. Release the game. That was that was awful. Um, and we do need more games. A new game with a new engine, game number six. I, I think we do our deep fist again, right? But with the new engine, new graphics, new new everything. So action and P PC. We could go <laughs> deep fisting, <laughs> deep fisting on the on the Nintendo Entertainment System. That that sounds about appropriate. Uh, Maybe not. And I don't have the dev kit, and that's all costly. So we pick a game engine, and this is good. Sprawltopia 2. Come on, don't suck too bad. Uh, seven. Oh, oh, this one's going high. Four, four, seven, and uh, an eight. Yes, okay, that wasn't too bad. I will make a slight profit. And here, uh, is the engine more important than gameplay? I don't know. I, I don't think it is. Not for an action game, right? So the worst part about this with the sliders is there are optimal settings and you don't know about them. And we are, as you can see there, there is no indication for where they should be. Um, we are developing the same games over and over again. And we, we still just don't know. We ha get no feedback whatsoever. And that is terrible for a game like this game, Game Dev Tycoon. That is, that is terrible for a design decision. Um, you need to give people, in a Tycoon game, you need to give people data to work with so that they can make better decisions. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, 16, 16, it's done. Graphics level 2. All right. So what happens in, uh, in Game Dev Tycoon is probably that they have such uh, the, the game mechanics, the underlying game mechanics in this game are so shallow. And I, I mean, I've read the wiki a few years back. I read the wiki, went through all their their mechanics, and they are very shallow. Um, it's basically a lookup table which compares like factors, and then your your bubbles kind of have a balance to them and that that's it then it all gets multiplied and added up and you have your game rating basically um and well, that's that's something you don't really want to give information on because if you inform people about this then this is our third game now right so generate report oh yes um if you inform people about it then it becomes apparent that this game is really shallow and they will like it less. So it leaves this kind of thought in the background that it is more than it really is. And I don't really like that. It's like uh, a, a bad game disguising itself as a, an intriguing game. Um, don't get me wrong, I still like the game, of course. So I'm just ripping on it because it's... It's such an ironic title, like Game Dev Tycoon. This is not how you make a game. <laughs> it's just, yeah, weird. Um, anyway, uh, I think people have proven me um, 
proven me wrong though, because it sold really well. So obviously this is how you make a game. It's just that Killer Robin doesn't like it. Uh, that 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 kind of like gameplay mechanic. So, but I'm then again I'm more of a hardcore gamer and not a filthy casual that would play casual games dev tycoon. Uh, Deep fest number two. Yes, we make more reports so that we get our research up. Deep Fist 2 is selling pretty well. Okay, yep, that was a really good game. So uh, if we do more research, which should be available now, we can um, then get oh, a yeah, new gameplay, a new sound. Let's do, uh, should we do a evolution? Yeah, I think so. Also, what I don't really get is why games are taken off the market so quickly and why you're getting so little money from it. Um, this is like self-publishing here currently is worse than actually being with a publisher. Uh, recent salaries, blah, 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 specialized games. What was that? Ah, more mature audience. Yes, yes. We shall cater to all the mature audiences. Just wait and see. Target audience. We will make... We will make amazing titles. Let's see. Uh, uh, research. More research. We need more research. We do need game tutorials because our games are super complex and they need to be explained properly. It's like automation. Even though automation doesn't have that kind of feedback yet uh, or very li limited. So, okay, that was a quick research. Uh, no scratchy scratchy on your head. Mono sound, awesome, awesome. Uh, more research, target audience, and then we make a new game engine. And like the research system here is also pretty much bullshit. Like why, why did they do it like this? If there are so many topics, why did they choose to make it like this? You could argue it's like, oh, it's, but it makes sense so that you, you, when you replay the game that you have a different set and you need to make make your choices but I mean in reality it's more like you you can pick and choose and try to explore different things and then you see or you make a prototype and see if it works nope not here not here uh, aliens oh we have lots of space travel and no time, time travel and aliens um, hospital surgery comedy uh, nothing really fits hospital kind of but i don't want to waste more time here so let's make a new engine game engine do we want to make a new game engine already um yeah i think so we do have the money just about and that's pretty big uh, big feature additions so this might be the 1.1 1 .1. Um, yeah, not not too many features added in this one. So create the engine, quick! The master system is going out. All right, and now I think we are going to make the super hit that brings us several million, which allows us to expand. So we are going to develop a mature game, uh, and we are going to do the time travel and adventure and on the PC and real engine yes exactly uh, we call it the end of time and it is it's about existential questions philosophical and stuff yes exactly and uh, we use our super graphics and get started yes no bugs oh awesome you're my hero get up you're my hero game tutorials because adventure games are so difficult to play uh, producing bugs. Bug. Oh no, stop it! Okay, the balance looks about right so far. That's pretty good. A 2 to 1 ratio. Uh, mono sound? Yes, mono sound. World design, graphics, um, sound. Not really that important. Let's keep it around here. And go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Produce. Uh, come on! Yes, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for your time. Yes, good. And... Oh, yes, 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 yes. This is looking really good. And... Players, mature game. Yeah, mature, mat very mature games. Hype 14? 
That's great. Now get rid of the bugs. No, don't produce. Don't produce these. Yes, more, more orange. Okay, release the game and get rich. Uh, what more do we want to do? Do we have anything? Um, aliens, blah, blah, blah. No, not really. So let's make a new game while we're waiting for the other one. Uh, everyone, let's pick a topic. Oh, yes, evolution. Yes, let's make an evolution game. Evolution simulation game. And pick a platform and PC because simulation runs really well. There. So we call it devolution. Because um, that's what this game will do to you. And it will be terrible. Anyway, so simulation, PC, yes. All good. Graphics, amazing. And we are out of money again. Come on, we need a big hit. And, but, yeah, there's the money. You see? You see? I, I pr can predict the future with my super, super gamey senses. Yeah, that is the best game ever. This game will be known as the classic of adventure games. What what do we want here? Engine, ga gameplay, quest story, basically nothing. Something like this. Gameplay is just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that's all good. But we do have our story, you know. That's that's important. Don't forget about that. Says records. We are going to be filthy rich. Soon we will get the offer to move into our next uh, office. Not quite sure if I want to do that the first time around. I want to uh, get all set up and ready so that I don't have to pay anyone else before we actually get rolling. Um, level design... Level design isn't really that important, is it? This is kind of the uh, the inverse of the adventure game, I think. The uh, simulation game. Oh yes! We're selling, selling the big, big numbers. And here, no idea. What, what what does world design mean? Probably it's not that important, is it? Uh, sound, yeah. Let, let's let's go with this. See what comes out. Bugs comes out. Oh yeah, this is the the best game ever. And why are you producing so many lure errors? Get Rob, stop it. No, no, not more design. Arr, take it away. Get rid of it again. Don't make the game better in design. Alright, that might be decent enough. Um, uh, do we want to move? Uh, okay, I wait until the next time around. And we do need to... Research? No research here. Do we need anything of this? Uh, hospital? Hospital strategy game? Let's, let's do a hospital strategy game. Devolution! Is it good? Oh yes! Oh, it's it's wh whoa! Okay, that one, that that one is oh, it's even better! Oh wow! Okay, okay, that was that was well done. Got rid of all the lure errors, and now we shall make an, an, a new one, which is uh, just as good. So we are going for everyone and pick the topic hospital hospital manager so it will be what, what is theme hospital is that a strategy game or is it a simulation uh, i wouldn't call it a simulation right that's stupid it's not not flight simulator so it's probably a strategy game and we pick the platform pc because we like the pc and use our super engine and we call it live or die and uh, that's the perfect title. And uh, let's let's get rolling with this one. What do we need here? All the costs into this. 3.5 million. Um, gameplay. Yeah, it's strategy after all. So, engine, gameplay. I don't know. Probably this way around, right? Casual games. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> My favorite type of, type of game. Devolution. Truly outstanding visual design. Yes. Yes, it's, it's brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh no. Scratchy head. Stop scratching your head. Produce bubbles. Now. Oh, that was weak. Um, graphics. No, we don't need graphics that much. 
Uh, this is the, uh, the the big question, like probably something like this. Graphics not needed. Oh, so many bugs again. These are all things that are missing from these bubbles. What? Why is it off the market already? 300,000. 4.4 million. And another bubble. Come on. No. Okay. Before. No. Why does... He has to lean back in his chair first before, uh, before we can uh, review the game. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. And ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. Wasting my time. Uh, kill Rob, almost level three, and research available. And there we go. I think we should take the 3D route if we are going for simulation and all kinds of action stuff. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that sounds good. So, first off, I want to have research points. Very important to take those along into the uh, into the big office. And this game tanks. It's decent. De no, it's just, just about. Oh, whew, this is bad. This will basically break even only. But we shall analyze it and see why that was. Devolution, simulation, great. Uh, very important, okay. Platform, great. Audience match, everyone is good. And yeah, the game, uh, the PC likes mature, right? Topic, audience, match, evolution, everyone is great. Okay, we got that right. Um, general game report, live or die. Hmm, should we move? Should we move? Maybe we should move now. I kind of want to make a new engine before we move. Uh, or research all this stuff. So yeah, because the first few titles with our in our new office will be pretty trash. We still have a few sales here, uh, so that's that's all good. But um, yeah, okay, let's let's move, let's move. And I think yes, this should be a good place once we're there to call the episode. Oh, stop, stop, stop! New office, yes. All right, we end right here, and I shall uh, catch you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. And see you guys next time.